Cheers. Happy Tuesday. Um, today in your learning, you're going to be doing reading and math again. And in reading, we're going to be talking a little bit more about science and fast and slow earth changes. And then in math, you're going to be making 100. And you're also going to be working on some measurement word problems. We know how much we love word problems. Okay, so let's get started. First things first, I want you to remember to go into Google Classroom. Make sure that you've answered the question for today so I can check in on you because I miss you and I want to hear from you. Once you've done that, the slides will be posted and you can click on those. Here are our slides for today. Good morning, second graders. Today is Tuesday, April 7th. <clears throat> in reading today, our goals are kind of the same. We're going to analyze an image in a text to gain more information, make connections, and explain how the images help us better understand the text. You're also going to be reading for 30 minutes. <clears throat> in reading today, you're going to need your pencil, your independent reading books, and your learning packet that should have gotten mailed to you. <clears throat> but again, if you don't have your learning packet, here's the link for the online version. <clears throat> So in reading today, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to look at the photos of earth changes and you are going to make observations. If I were you, I would pause the video right now and go ahead and do that step. And when you're finished, come back and listen for step two. <clears throat> step two, look at the photos again. So this is going to be a separate page and decide if they are fast or slow land changes and be sure to write how you know. Step three, you're going to create a claim, which is kind of like almost an opinion, by writing down which event was the fastest earth change. So each of the earth changes had letters next to them, A, B, or C. You're gonna write them in order from the slowest to the fastest. So if you think that B was the slowest, you're going to put B in this box. Next, you are going to provide evidence for your claim, which are almost like reasons a little bit, by writing your important observations that you took down on the first page. So you're going to go back to the first page and you're going to put down some of the observations that you wrote about those land changes. Next, you're going to provide reasoning for your claim by writing why you think the earth change you chose is the fastest. We always have to make sure that we are providing reasons for our opinions, just like in math, we're doing it in reading too. Step six, you're going to write down additional information that would help you make a better claim. Whatever you think would help you make a better claim is what you're going to write here. That's it for your reading work today. Now you're going to find a comfy spot, set a timer for 30 minutes, or just start reading. Your purpose for reading this whole week is just going to be to have fun. I want you to enjoy reading. After you've taken a little bit of a brain break, maybe you had some lunch, you're going to start math. Our goal is the same. Fluently add and subtract within 100 using flexible strategies. Your materials for today are going to be number cards, from the take home packet that you should have been mailed and then the game board from the packet. If you don't have the packet, it's right here. So your job in math today is number one, play the math game. Number two, complete the measurement word problems. Number three, practice your math back cards. Here's a little slide about how important it is to be adding and subtracting. Here's the game that you are going to play. So basically, you are trying to make a sum of 100 by putting cards in a row, diagonally, or in a vertical line. And if you need more information on how to play the game, there's directions in your packet, there's directions here, and there's video directions down below. This talks about measurement word problems. So here is a blank organizer for the word problems if you need it. They put a word problem in there. You're going to follow the steps, say it in your own words, write down what you know, write down what you need to find out, 
What operation do you think you will use? So that's adding or subtracting. What model could you use to solve? So you can use any model that helps you. And then at the bottom, you're going to write the answer. So here's a word problem that should be in your packet. Um, they want you to put this in your math journal. If you don't have a math journal, that's okay. You can solve it in your packet. And then it says, if you're able, you can take a picture of your journal and add it to our Google Classroom so that I can see it. And then if you need more practice, try another. That's it for today. Again, you worked so hard and I am so proud of you. Don't forget to head on over to Google Classroom to see if any other assignments are posted. Have a great day.